Teddy, I'm scared. Baby, we're gonna be fine, all right? I don't care what any fucking piece of paper says. You're my wife. I love you so much. And I swear to God, if we lose, I'm gonna fucking cut that judge. Wait a minute, you brought your switchblade? Yeah. But well, they patted us down on the way in here. Where'd you even hide? Oh. Hey, Sam. Who's that button on over there? That is why we've been working so hard. That's Shep Wild. It's our bad luck they put him on the trial. He's never lost a case in his life. Mr. Wild, your opening statement, if you please. Thank you, Your Honor. I would first like to thank the ladies and gentlemen of the jury for taking time out of their busy schedules to be a part of these proceedings. Now, the case we'll be examining today is really quite a simple one. Is Ted a human being or a piece of property? You know, it really is a very special, very unique thing to be human. It's a gift from God bestowed upon only one species, us. But if we suddenly decide to share that gift, where does that lead us? Does your dog deserve human rights? Your cat? Your toaster? <laughs> suddenly being human doesn't seem so special anymore, does it? I'm confident you'll make the right decision. Thank you, Mr. Wilde, for your opening statement. Ms. Jackson? Hi. I'm Samantha Jackson. I gotta be honest with you. I'm... I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Why am I nervous? Um, well, not because I'm a junior attorney arguing her first case. And not because some of you might laugh at the fact that I'm representing a teddy bear. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm nervous because of one simple word. Justice. I'm nervous that you're going to be swayed by smooth talk and a haircut and forget about the most important aspect of this case. Justice. 150 years ago, a slave by the name of Dred Scott sued to prove that he was a person and not a piece of property. He lost. And as history has shown us, that wasn't justice. In every civil rights conflict, we are only able to recognize the just point of view years after the fact. And when the next conflict comes along, we're once again blind to it as it's happening. Well, this is different, we say, but it isn't. It is the same beast just wearing a different face and it's happening again today. So I urge you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, not to be a footnote on the wrong side of history. Don't wait too long to be right. Thank you. Erection sustained. Ms. McCafferty, you and Ted recently considered adopting a child, is that correct? Yeah. And if I may inquire, uh, why did you not choose to have a child of your own? Because Teddy ain't got no dick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why does Ted not possess a uh, male appendage? Is it a freak of genetics? No, asshole. He ain't got a dick because he's a fucking toy. What's your excuse? Oh, take a burn. Yeah, how's your tongue tasting your own ass, point, Dexter? Yeah, how's it? What? Or 